just want to thank Anchor for making this podcast possible. Um, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. It's solely free. They have creation tools that allow you to record, edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Um, they'll distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Um, it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go check it out. Go download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's real easy. That's what we use. I just uh, edit the podcast, upload it to the website, and um, they pretty much do the rest of the work for us. So go check it out, guys. Thank you. Oh, man, this water sure is salty. <laughs> hey, then, what are you doing? Are you drinking the seawater? Oh. <sighs> Well, we're all out of regular water. I'm sure mo- any kind of moisture is better than anything. I don't yeah, know. I, mean, I don't know about this, fellas. I mean, I am quite thirsty myself. That yeah. soon is hot. Oh, if they say oh. if you put it up to the sun, it will get rid of all the chemicals, right? Are you sure yeah. about? I didn't read anything here. like that. Before. Check off. Try it here. All right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, it's still a bit salty, but, um, it helps with the taste, I think. Well, yeah, it's not too bad at all. It helps if you picture yourself laying on a beach in the sand with the sun beating down on you. Oh. This glass of water is a Mai Tai. I call myself a little umbrella. Oh, oh that sweet, funny. sweet. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's so good. So good. Sounds incredible. Yeah, I'm going to just get, get another sip. <laughs> All right, Hayden, <laughs> hey, how oh. about you share some more, please? Give me some more here. This is oh, ridiculous. Sorry. Oh, it's so refreshing. Fine. It's actually quite good. Oh. Okay. You yeah. know what? I'm starting to feel pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's cool enough, man. Room. I'm feeling Water actually pretty good, pretty good too. Yeah. yeah. Hey, is it just me or are we are we breathing underwater? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh no, I'm drowning! <laughs> I'm drowning! No, you can breathe. Look, Chekhov. You can breathe. <laughs> underwater. <laughs> this oh. Great. This is fantastic. I always want to be able to, dr- to breathe water. Oh, you can oh. drink it and you can breathe it. This is incredible. With my oh. newfound powers, I will become Aquaman. <laughs> oh, no doubt about that, but you got to start doing some crunches or something. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> With this power, off, I can, I will take over. Jason Momoa, you watch yourself. Oh, no. Welcome to my underwater kingdom, my friends. Oh, my. Oh, hey, it's a. Oh, my God. What's with oh. the, all those tentacles? Octopus with a wig on it and some lipstick. Horrible lipstick. I yeah, she is kind of hot. I, I mean, <laughs> this underwater world is pretty cool. It's hard to scare I've been giving you the special ability to breathe underwater to commune with my kind. Oh, that was you? Oh, wow, that's awesome. Can you give Chekhov some powers too for like Aquaman? Yeah. Like with Trident and stuff? I need to become Aquaman. Give me some Aquaman. I feel that you all have needs to be fulfilled, but I have to take a trade. A trade? Well, gee, I'd like a promotion. It's been years since I had one of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he needs to be promoted in the army. All your wishes can can come true, but you must sacrifice something for it. Sacrifice? Uh, Oh. Check off. What, What do you got? I'm not going to fall for this. I've seen Monkey Fist like two or three times. And I know that the sacrifice is always never worth the gift. Yeah, I don't know Um, about this. I mean, if I had to give up my girly good looks, that would be a bad thing. That's true. That's true. Uh, check up. Just give her your uh, vodka. Give me your extra vodka there. My extra, listen, though, I only told you about the extra vodka and confidence. No! I don't I want any you... special gift, Hayden. Young uh, man, you seem to be missing your legs. 
I could replace them for you for the simple oh, gift of your voice. What do you mean? Well, or... damn, Hayden, she's saying if you learn how to stop talking, <laughs> you can get your legs back. That's going to be funny. Um, is there something else I could trade? I mean, I can't. The talking's kind of important, you know. I don't know, I Aiden. Really you kind of got the voice that everybody, when they hear, they want to punch somebody. Frankly, ever since I met you, I have bought a boxing thing in the back that every time I'm done talking to you, I punch. And I haven't been there quite some time, and then, frankly, I feel pretty aggressive right now. Yeah, it's a little great. Like every time you speak, it feels like I got a, a cotton ball between my fingers. It gives me that shiver down the spine. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? I, I would rather with, have a ass, fly. Ass, ass. Yes, I would rather have a fly crawl inside my ear and bust for the rest of eternity if that meant that I would get less less conversations with you oh. daily. Yeah, you know, you just never stop talking. And talking... But how else am I supposed talking. to... And talking. I... Oh, my God. This is why you legs, started but... a podcast, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I... I, to oh, be that's... honest, I thought they might try that's to right. voice change him a little bit, but uh, they haven't really done too much in the post-production, unfortunately. What, you... what are you talking about? My voice is perfectly fine. But now that you bring you it up... You won't even uh... notice that you don't have a voice. Life will be normal. You'll be able to walk again. Ah, uh, that would be great. Not having to get around with old big boy over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would actually invite you to things like birthday parties and just times to hang out if you just wouldn't talk. Really? Yeah. Is that true, sir? Yeah. It's kind of hard to push a wheelchair through the beach, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. But what about Joe? Well, who cares about Joe, I guess, you know. <laughs> All right, I guess, uh, my voice for some legs. Can I get, like, the, like, the, the bolt, you saying bolt legs? Like, something, like, really strong and athletic and fast. Can I do something like that? I don't think your voice is worth that much. Oh, gosh, dang it. All right, well. I'm sure Whatever she's even you giving do. you legs. I would have just made your legs out of wool. I know, I know. And like strings attached to you and being like a puppet boy. I kind of miss the robot now. <laughs> Talking back to you. All right. Here's my voice. Oh. There it goes. Look at that shiny little Ooh. ball floating through the air. <laughs> he even looks like he has some severe, like, like, I guess the reflex disease or something. And now for your legs, and your voice is mine forever. <laughs> that laugh, that laugh tells me this was not good trade here, Aiden. A laugh every time woman laugh like that, never good option. Didn't match the character at all. Like zero percent. I will not, I will not lie about that. I would have to be fully in agreement with you there, Sarge. <laughs> Look at Hayden, all wiling around there, trying to get her attention. He can't speak. <laughs> yeah. Look at him, waving his hands around like he's some kind of cheerleader. Hey, Hayden, do me a favor. Don't say anything if I can have all of your money. Wait, wait. You said that you, you did that wrong. You're supposed to say, say something. If I can have, if I can't have all your money. Oh, okay, okay, yes. Hey, then say something if I can have, but can't, you can't. can't have. Sarge, this is very difficult, okay? Like, you you confused me. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me try again. Hey, then. Remember, he can't say something. So if I you're know. trying right. to do it, right. he has to say something or right. you get everything, you know? Yes, yes, okay, okay. <clears throat> hey, then, say but don't say if I can also, but could not possibly obtain, but will obtain your money. There you go, Sarge, just like that. All right, yeah, look at him. He's all like, ah, like he's waving around. 
Hayden looks like he's trying to guide an airplane in right now. He's hilarious. That's that's close. That's close for sure. Hey, look though, he's treading water. He's got himself some legs. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I'm not going to lie. Those are actually pretty nice legs. I would say legs of model, but female model. Hayden, you got female model legs. <laughs> female model legs. Who wears short shorts? Hayden wears Hayden short shorts. Hayden wears short shorts. Yeah, let's so get them, okay? Oh, oh, man. That reminds me of a TV show I once watched. Tell me about TV show. There was this time, this guy met a genie, replaced his legs with a lady's legs, and he started doing the can-can. Of course, this guy was muscle-bound and really big in the chest. Hayden's a little scrawny. He looked very feminine with those le feminine legs already. But, you know. Podcast. Oh, my God. God, what the hell happened to you guys? <laughs> Jesus, you smell horrible. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Ugh. Oh, Hayden uh, has little uh, model legs. Oh, my my legs are woman legs. What are you talking here, about? Oh, here, my you, legs are did you guys drink that? You guys drink the seawater, didn't you? Hayden got his voice back. My I got legs. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, then your hey, legs are gone. No, back to being all grotesque <laughs> and non-workable. I can't do the podcast anymore because right. I can't speak. Yeah. It sounds like you guys it. need some more water. Here, here's some more water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right in the face. <laughs> oh, right in the leg. Dude, you're splashing on my legs and they're gone. No, Hayden, they've always been the same the whole time. You guys have been hallucinating. No, no. Joe, Joe, you can't. You can't. That makes a lot more sense. I didn't really think there was some octopus lady. No. Whatever. I saw you trying to sneak your number to her there, Sarge. Yeah, he was kind of getting after her. <laughs> she had that anchor no. kind of laugh, too. I don't know about That's that. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, anyways, Hayden. Okay, and you guys. What? Oh, it's happened, you guys. I, I had legs. What I'm going to say is, is Joe, thank you so much for saving us. Uh, we probably be dead in a stupid uh, stuff, like some kind of an illusion. No, but it would have been horrible. You take me back. Hey, listen, take man, you just don't have legs. You got to accept it, all right? Calm down. God dang. Can't the podcast. Dude, Ugh. listen here. You guys wouldn't believe how I found you. So we tracked down your radio signal here. No way. Yeah, dude. So, like, I don't know if you guys know this, nah. but while you guys were out there, like, I decided to run for, like, senator of Alaska over here. So got my running mates here. Yeah, right, you? yeah dude. What, what do you mean? I mean, if they're going to elect <laughs> Sarah Palin, why wouldn't they elect me? Like, God dang. Like, what's wrong with me? So we're in Alaska right yeah. now? Sure are, man. Sure are. How come it's like 80 degrees, man? You said it was cold. It's like, this is like perfect. <laughs> it's nice temperatures. I mean, we're in the very southern portion of Alaska. You know, we're near the other okay. parts, but it's summertime, yeah, man. It gets warm. It's a little bit of a myth, a misconception about Alaska. They, I mean, they get 24 hours daylight in the summer. So that means that they can get yep. just as warm as any other place for four months of the year. That's what I'm saying. Anywho, nonetheless. <laughs> Listen, guys. You're a meteorologist, Sarge. <laughs> I'm just saying, so, since I'm running for senator, we're going to need some money now, guys. My campaign uh, yeah. has taken all of it, okay? You know how you know, you know how expensive flyers are? They're, like, super expensive. Yeah, well, good luck with that, man. We're, we're going to get the escape pod. It's over here somewhere, right? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I had it there. I don't think I got another paycheck coming from the military for a while. Uh, I know. Uh, that's fine, Sarge. We'll just use you as, like, labor manual labor you're, you're strong enough as far as the escape chamber i had to sell it for scrap metal the what well i like i told you man i'm running for senator i i need to pay okay. Jeez, dude. i don't have any expensive corporation in my back pocket yet okay that's gonna take some time mm. 
We're going to uh, have to get some well, marketing photos of you, you know, with yeah. a rifle sitting on the back of a polar bear. Hell yeah. You know what, Sarge? You're my new, um, you're my new like marketing guy, right? I want you to be like head. <laughs> Like, what Dude, would you say? Like, my visual. You gotta, what would you What would you call it? Like, what is it? Like, you're you're like you make sure I look good. Like your you're, image. Yeah, you're my image uh, manager. You're my new image manager. You're hired. Are you serious? <laughs> you guys are. And then of course what we'd would... have to get Mrs. Joe in a, a bikini next to you. You know. Yeah. Hell yeah. You got it. You got it. So all coming. And we got Hayden. We have to have some form. Somebody who's either a minority of some what? kind. To help get them like the like the sympathy votes, single child. (laughs) Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Sympathy votes. We got Hayden for that, so we need him in like a wheelchair, like Uh, right up front. Use a wheelchair, I guess. Like right up front. Wheelbarrow. It still look like he's underclass. That's true. Let's actually. I like that. Let's do a wheelbarrow. Uh, no, a wheelchair this time, please, guys. All right, wheel. If I'm doing this, I gotta have. No wheelchair. Perfect. All right, it's written down. Uh, automated, please. Uh, Sarge, Sarge, you're really good with math. So, how much is all this you think going to cost me to get started up? Hmm. Well, let's see. We could get ourselves a wheelbarrow pretty easily. Yeah. I could take some pictures. Okay. I got my, I got my camera. That'll be all right. Some a bit about some picture production. You know. You know. So. Yeah. 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 Check yeah, couple, we could probably do it with a couple thousand dollars. Oh, that's perfect. I mean, I don't have the money now, but don't I'll get it easily. Like I said, so that money's still coming in from scrapping all the meadow. And the yeah, next and thing I got to do, and it's going to be your podcast money, Sarge. So don't worry. You got a new paycheck now. Hayden and I are going to pay you. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't even, we can't even pay ourselves. I mean, Listen. Well, if we're going to sell Listen. these podcasts, we're going to have to make another one. Yeah, he's not wrong. Yeah, good luck with that, guys. I'll uh, see you later. I'm wait, wait. What about me? Everyone has job, but I don't. What can I do to help out Joe? I want to be part oh of the God. American political system. Since I'm becoming an American citizen, I would like to partake. Well, what do you think, Sarge? Uh... Well, I mean, he's pretty good with electronic things. Mm, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, too, man, you know, like, um, he, he could be part of the foreign vote. You know, we could totally be like that that part right there. So everyone's got to have a cool foreigner, too. Like, we're coming all together. Look at this, guys. We're going to win this. We could also have you overcoming the commies by standing on them in the image. Oh, that would be perfect. And can we have, like, and then Spekov can be handing me, like, an AK. I like the yeah. sound of this. Handing people an AKs is, like, one of my second favorite thing. First favorite thing is always being part of community. Second favorite thing, handing out AKs to community. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are in bo- on board with this. All right, guys. Well, I think it's all set. So, you know what, Hayden? <laughs> it's good of you to guys come in. So, here, we got the podcast what? stuff sitting inside of the uh, little raft here. So, why don't we just fire this up and get this thing going, man? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm not really in the mood right now. It's, hey, listen here. It's not about you right now, okay? It's about the people of Alaska, okay? It's about them. It's also mostly about me right now <laughs> and Sarge. Yeah, you want Alaska. Sarge to not get paid? Look at Sarge. Look at look at Sarge right now. Look at him. All sad right now that you're not going to get paid. Sorry, Sarge. Guess you're not going to get paid because of Hayden. <laughs> what? Look, Sarge, you make Sarge no. cry. And he's a military guy. Hey, Sarge, listen. I haven't seen a single paycheck from the podcast yet, so I don't. I wouldn't 100 believe him just yet. Oh, here, hold on. You're right. You're right. Right. Hold on. Yeah. Here's this little. Ah, uh, here's this little what? check here, made the out heck? to you, Sarge. Here you go. Here you go, Sarge. What? What, what, what do I mean? I got my food thousand dollars. There you go, baby. There you go. Okay, just, you know, I just wouldn't. Wait till next Friday to cash that. All right, you know, just in case. But you should be good. Gotcha. All right. See you now, Hayden. Oh, baby, what's up? How are you? Look. Where did you go, baby? Oh, we came over here, baby. Look, we're getting stuff ready to go. Sarge is my new image consultant, so he told me that you got to be in a bikini. Yeah, you got to be in a bikini from now on. Good to see you, Mr. Joe. Yeah. All right. Uh, 
Yo, I didn't know you'd have company, baby. I know. Oh. It's okay. Don't so, worry. All right. So here, here's the. Uh, uh, oh. So Sarge wants you to dress in your skimpiest bikini. So why don't you go get that, and then come back here, meet us, oh. and we're gonna get some like photo shoots going on. Oh, you finally put on Sarge's mustache. Oh. I sure did. Oh, I figured it would help me get elected. Yeah. I mean, Alaskans. So good. Yeah, Alaskans trust nobody without facial hair. That's why Sarah Palin got voted in. She had one of the nicest mustaches I've ever seen. Oh, first lady. Yeah, that's I what know, I'm saying. Baby, I, know. Bikini for you. I know. So hurry up, go get changed. Hayden, All right. let's get this going, back. baby. Come on, Hayden. Sorry, Joe. It was good to see you. Good to see you too, Miss Joe. Say it to uh, it, Hayden. Let's go. Let's get your go. head out of the water. Gosh, yes, I will get it out of water, you crazy man. I'm ready to be part of the political system of America. I don't need... I guess, I, I guess I'm happy that we actually have a plan. But <laughs> All right, Hayden. You ready? Some kind of wheelchair, I hope, is coming. Maybe. I, I don't know. Sarge is pretty expensive right now. We'll see. All right. Let's boot her up, Hayden. And why don't you start us off? Uh, me? Yeah, man. Uh, <coughs> get all that seawater out of my lungs. <coughs> there you go. There you go. Get it all out. Get it all out. <coughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. Like a dead fish just came out. <laughs> I was just going to say. All right. Did that, was that an octopus? <laughs> Uh, it was something. All right. You ready? <clears throat> Always. Man, these mics look like they've never been touched, man. We went through more pain than these things. <laughs> you know it. All right. Testing one, two, check. Everybody good? Oh, yeah. All right. Three, two, one. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Pizza Subs podcast. I'm Hayden, and I got Joe with me. What's going on? And Chris as well. Hey, hey. How's it going, guys? Oh, man, it was a good weekend. How about those abortions? Yeah, well, like mm -hmm. I, I, was, I didn't say a good fourth. I said a good weekend. There's a, a few riots over here over, that, over the weekend. Oh, but Wait, what part? A lot of the states where it was turned illegal, they now ha they had a bunch of riots. <laughs> So yeah, many states and many states in the United States had riots on the fourth instead of uh, well, not I mean I wouldn't say riot. Riot is probably the wrong word. Uh, protests, mostly peaceful protests, Ang very angry protests. <laughs> but I don't think there was any violence. Mostly peaceful, <laughs> but they were uh, definitely throwing things. Nothing of the abnormal. That's awesome. Did you do anything fun, though, for it? Like, uh, you said it was a good weekend. What were you up to? Well, uh, just ended up having a house party, barbecue. I mean, it was, I still, you know, it was more of a support women and be a community barbecue than a, a celebrate the independence of the United States kind of thing. But, you know. Nice. And you did over the weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. What about nice. you, Hayden? What'd you do for the fourth? Uh, I just, you know, hung out and just got annoyed by local people. <laughs> by lo annoyed by local people? What happened? Just people around, just, I don't know. You just try to go to see a fireworks show, you know, and people just like get all in your way. Oh, it's not like you need to see fireworks. <laughs> and then people decided, thought it was a good idea to bring some, uh, like mortars. We're just like, you know, watching the show and people are like, oh, we're going to set up these mortars right here in front of your face. Dirt. It's like, what the heck? We're like watching a show here. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys probably can't see. It's like, yeah, duh. <laughs> so a lot of people just headed home early, sadly, because some people had to just ruin it for others. But yeah, yeah, it was fun. Oh, I also went and did a foam party on foam. Saturday. Yeah, they uh, they no, fill up no. the dance floor with like four feet of foam, and you dance in the foam. Nice, dude. Ooh. Yeah, that was fun. Like fight in the foam too. <laughs> <Two more laughs> wrestle. 
Yeah. Hi. Nice. What about you, Joe? What'd you do? See, I went fishing Sunday. Had a uh, good time there and barbecued out, and ate with some friends. And then yesterday, went over to a friend's house and barbecued there and played some games and watched the fireworks. I had a great, great 4th of July, man. Had a blast. Nice, dude. Absolutely. The fireworks, are, fireworks were pretty good? or <clears throat> Yeah, man, it's fun. Like, my area out here in Aurora, they tend to do a lot of, like, shows. And the neighborhoods themselves, too, are always so, like, into it. That they and always... Dick Sporting Good Arena? <laughs> no, that's a little further north, right? Because yeah. Dick Sporting Good, that's uh, what the Rapids and like stuff like that it. too. Yeah, it's closer to Carmer City. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, like my neighborhood out here, uh, they do a lot of fireworks, uh, and then we have Eagles. an area where we can. Oh yeah, so many, dude. Um, <laughs> that's all. Uh, first off, they're undocumented fireworks. If you can, you know, respect that, please. Thank you. Also, oh, the uh, <laughs> the. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the fireworks are great, and then like you know, they had some good areas to watch them from here and stuff. And you know, our neighbor's house, we were able to see a bunch of the fireworks, so we kind of just chilled there and enjoyed that. So I had a blast, man. Always oh, look forward see. to the Fourth of July, handing out, handing out, uh, hanging out with some friends and enjoying some good barbecue time. You know, it's oh, handing out illegal fireworks. That's what you're about to say. Well, I don't get them. <laughs> Everyone always gets them so much that like I don't even ever have to worry about it. People just get their own and then they're like oh no, i already right. got mine i'm like oh sorry i didn't bring any they're like that's fine i already got it you know and then they're like like you know lighting it with cigarettes and stuff you know so you're like hell yeah with their cigars yeah well, yeah. well that's how you light a cigarette son <laughs> i'm three like i don't know what so. you mean but yeah no it's exactly like that so it's it's nice it was it was a lot of fun man Nice, man. Nice, nice. Yeah, I don't even get fireworks anymore. I just kind of feel like it's pointless. You know? Really? But, like, this year, like, all the illegal fireworks were better than the actual show. <laughs> so, yeah, they're that bad. Yeah, I mean, they were terrible. I guess, uh, so I guess because of COVID, um, they had, like, a new show come back. But, like, uh, due to COVID last year, they had, like, fireworks were like separated so everybody could see them like in their respected areas so unless i think unless you actually like go to a show maybe like an actual like the one show that they have i guess i don't know but like yeah last year they had it spread out so there was like so many different you know finales going on and so many different directions yeah, yeah. but like this year it's just like there's one spot and then someone will sit their fat butt right in front of you <laughs> can't see it <laughs> you don't sound salty at no all. <laughs> full karen i was like i was like dude come on man don't be a karen don't be a karen don't be a karen go over and just grab the fireworks as they're launching off you can't use these here you can i swear, you can't I swear uh, you watch <laughs> sir you got i'll eat these things Whoa! <laughs> I'll no one wants right to now. see a Roman candle coming out of your ass. <laughs> yeah, I'll go through it. I mean, I mm. kind of do now, though. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> All right, I'm sure yeah. it's on some more. For those about to lose fingers on this Fourth of July, we salute you, for you are sh teaching a lesson to all our children on what not to do. Thank you for losing and sacrificing your fingers by using fireworks in your hands. Like, thank you. <laughs> okay, Dad, what do I do with it now once it's lit? <laughs> he stands there. Just Dude. hold on to it as hard as you can. Yeah. I saw a meme about it said, a lot of people don't know that this is the last weekend they have all ten fingers. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. So many people. Playing with fireworks wrong. All the time, man. They're, like, everywhere. And they were launching them, like, day, like, in the middle of this past week in my neighborhood. And they'll be probably launched again tonight because people just have leftover fireworks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They They're 24 They know my neighborhood uses so many fireworks that they literally had two different kinds of, like, um, firework tents, like, right next to each other. Like, two different companies. Yeah. And they sold out of fireworks. It's wild. It. Yeah, but those fireworks at the tents are lame. There's like, here's the snakes and the sparklers and the 
here's a cool fountain. Yeah. No, cool give fountain. me that giant two foot by two foot by two foot box. It's a single firework system that I light once and it goes off in a big bag boom. <laughs> Just give me a freaking M14 and then uh, we're good. That's what people probably are doing now. Oh, all the fireworks are illegal, but guns aren't. So let's just uh, get all the guns that we can. And yeah, I don't know. And all the poor dogs that are dealing with PTSD this morning. God have mercy right. on their stupid, stupid little sweethearts. <laughs> <laughs> They're all cowering under a bed. Oh, they were. Yeah, my um, my friend's house we were at last night. The poor little. Little husk was not having a good time. Oh yeah. no! Man. They had to give it like dog weed. Uh huh. I was like, "Yo, share." <laughs> then it got up on its two legs and shot out of shot off a firework or two. Yeah. <laughs> Start saying weird dog things like "This is America," you know, kind of a thing. Yeah. America. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or just laying on the couch, going, "Dude." How long is that popcorn going to go? <laughs> I'm hungry. It needs to be done. Bring now. me the bowl. Yeah, like my... Started watching old 60s TV. <laughs> Basically. Well, even like my dog doesn't mind the fireworks, but my other dog we used to have before she passed away, she could not stand fireworks. We did have to get her dog weed too to like calm mm. her down. Yeah, man. Like she like did not like it. It was wild. She's like, mm -hmm. she's like, this sucks ass. Yeah, so we would have to like hardcore um would uh like give her some of that good good little little juicerino to help her out it was it was pretty crazy you just tape the blunt uh around her like nose <laughs> no, or... no just... it's like catnip you just give it to them and they eat it it's like a muzzle with a blunt attached to it yeah oh, what the... that's like snoop dogg's dog using the gas mask to smoke from a bong <laughs> yep it's like a giant bong attached to the back of the dog. What the heck is going on with your dog? <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, uh, a, little bubble, a little bubbler going. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just dog just strolling around. What's up? <laughs> I don't know you. So, dude, are you my master? Yeah, dude, chill out. Or am I your master? Pass me the treats. Do we even know society? Like, do we even <laughs> know? Do I even know who you are? You serve me like I'm a god. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's probably more of a cat getting high, but you know. Yeah. A cat would do that, like, yoga pose with, like, the arms spread out and they'd be, like, hovitating or, like, levitating. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's just, like, levitating. Okay, guys. Now we get a cat high. Flying like warrior pose. Nine yeah. lives. <laughs> There's, like, nine spirits in this thing. They're, like, all separated at once. All the spirits come out when you... <laughs> You all different personalities yep, so yep. speaking of that did you guys see the new light year car yeah it's a slick looking little machine I like the uh, the back tire cover thing it's kind of old school but at the same time it's like that uh, like a the Porsche sedan style you know the newest kind of Porsche sedan that's what it reminds me of, but with all the solar panels on it. A Porsche, wow. That's a stretch for me, I feel like. <laughs> I You've just... never seen the Porsche sedan that came out? The family car that was a Porsche? Cayenne or whatever? I think it was the Cayenne, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it... I don't know. I don't think it looks like that. It, it kind of looks like a... Like the first prototype of a Tesla <laughs> with, like, solar panels on it. Like, it's not as stylish, I don't think, as a Tesla. Oh, yeah. But I don't think they were going for looks because... Um, so I guess for those listening that don't know, the Lightyear 1 is uh, an all-electric car with um, its its hood and roof 
filled with solar panels, covered like in solar panels. So <clears throat> kind of like the Tesla roof tiles, but like on the car itself. And apparently it can go, what, like a week or two without charging? No, it says a month. Or a month. Wow. Yeah. Guess... On the website here, it's drive, and it has an S on the end. Drive for months without having to charge. Months. Jeez. That's for the people that were, like, quarantining. They hardly go out, you know. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm just kidding. No, but, well, when it's got the built-in solar panels, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, high high capacity solar panels. So a day's worth, a day in the sun should kind of give you another day worth of driving. So does it does it charge while I drive? I think so. Yeah, it's always like charging. What's and then you got the kinetic brakes. So yeah, I was I was always thinking about this. I'm like, dude, what if they? Why don't they just put solar panels on a car? You know, why can't they just do that, man? Yeah. Like there's vans that do it now. So I guess just the technology had to catch up. I just don't like the back but... wheels being covered. I hate when the wheels are covered. I hate it. <laughs> you're not you're not to saw that off. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd rather see the wheel. Like let me see it. I think it looks cooler with it. Like I, I don't I ju- I hate I hate it. No. I, you can't see the wheels. You can't I don't like it. Like I don't oh, like, like it. Afraid. Don't look at the wheels, honey. Don't, don't look, look at it. Like, sh- don't be skimpy. That's... Show some leg. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me see this. Well, it's like, like Medusa for the wheels. If you look at the full wheel, then uh, it-, it will lose its power or something. <laughs> uh, look at the wheels. That's how it gets I it. don't. I've never really liked the two tone color of cars. Like when the roof and the hood and the trunk is a different color than the sides. No. So, I mean, if I was to buy this car, I'd buy it in black so that the solar panels... But see, then that's the only color you could have because the solar panels will always be black. Then you get more energy because doesn't black attract more heat? It does, but and that might be why the sides are white is so that the solar panels get the soul... Like the soul suction of the the sun or, or whatever it is? Yeah, yeah. Sucking the soul of the sun? What the heck? Sucking in the soul of the sun. (laughs) Someone had those dog edibles before the podcast. Mm. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Oh, their white is called Zenith. It's like, I I just want one with all solar panels, you know? Fill the whole thing with solar. All over. The side, it's sometimes on the the other side, it's on the back. Fill that whole, fill that sucker with solar panels, you know? Oh, you can buy it without the wheel cover. The aero cover, it's called. I'm sure oh, it's like, go. I'm sure it has aerodynamic reasons behind it, but I don't care. Oh. I want to look good. <laughs> but mine has the yeah, aero cover. Because I'm on the website right now. Order, is this where I can build my own? You're like yeah. comparing it. Oh, dude, like there's like way many others. different colors. There's like mist and soil. No way, I gotta check this out. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get one. Dumb. Play and do. Sorry, guys. All the podcast money is going towards. Uh... No, I'm just kidding. That's fine. <laughs> Play. That's something I would do if I was like 72. Like. 72, really? Well, that's like a beige look, dude. Like all I ever think. I would of do is, it like, now. Yeah, but we can't buy it here. No, the in, color. In the United States, it's only good in the EU, Switzerland, Norway, and the UK. What? <sighs> yeah, it's because Elon. Uh... Has the thing right? Nobody can have another. I doubt that. It's like the what are they called? Sanctions or something. Well, I mean, Ford has one. Chevy has one. What do you mean they can't have electric cars? Oh, that's right. a, a solar car. Oh, you but mean? they're American, though. They're American made. So is Ford, and so is Chevy. That's what I'm saying. They're American made, so that's why we can have it here. Oh, well, but or... neither is Toyota. Neither is like Nissan. Toyota. They don't have electric. They have. Aren't they Toyota hybrid. dropping like a Rav, like a new Rav electric car? It's hybrid. Subaru is electric. Oh, the STI is electric. Yeah, we're we're talking about solar cars though, not uh, electric cars. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't yes, know. Did Tesla? Some... I didn't realize Tesla had one of these. Well, no, they have a patent on like tiles and stuff. And the, uh, I don't know. I'm shocked that the government allows that. It's like an Apple thing. But yeah, but then, remember when Biden held that, like, all EV conference, but didn't yeah. get Tesla? 
Yeah, well, because yeah, he's bothered not. about him. That's all. They just, you know, he's he did it politically versus like actually giving a shit about the environment. Why wouldn't you want the guy who like spearheaded electric cars? If Tesla wasn't around, this whole idea of electric cars would still be kind of like a fantasy. Like, yeah, like he spearheaded this. His company was the one who like drive this and show that it is a functional and viable source of luxury systems as well as off roading capabilities. Hopefully, more of that soon. Why wouldn't you? And it's all political because he just happens to have a certain like like ideal, and then they're just not happy about that, which is completely stupid. Because like, if we're really trying to push like America to be like all companies have to have like electric cars, or at least have like cars with forty plus miles per gallon by twenty twenty six, wouldn't you want the guy who spearheaded it there? It's ridiculous, right? It's it's another issue of the political the political system instead of trying to do what's best for the country. Again, they're just like, oh, we don't invite him here because. Well, if someone would vote, oh, maybe no. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> hey, <laughs> no man. Oh my god, I don't vote in that toxicity, um, man. Okay. No, all my my like libertarian the, people I'm... are weird. I like Spike Spike Cohen's probably the only like libertarian I like listening to right now. Like I've oh, been I'm to not, like I've been I'm to a libertarian not. meet and it's it's absolutely dumb. Half of them are high as shit too. Like they <laughs> the mad money guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, Spike Cohen. Uh, you... Is that because uh, he's a? We uh, I mean, might not be talking about the same guy. Not that I know of. But anyway, the do looks pretty cool. I don't like the other colors. Yeah. Oh, mist is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, Spike. Just... Spike Cohen was like the running mate for Joe Jorgensen in 2020. Joe Jorgensen. Yeah. I don't know. Go Brandon, right? Shit. Yeah, go Brandon. Did you see Joe Biden actually said that? Yeah, go Brandon. That's good. Oh, yeah. Well, he didn't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. They kind of like, they kinda like <laughs> slipped him into that. It's still funny, though, whenever, a, pol whenever a, poli when a politician slips, it's funny every time. Like, yeah. literally off a bike, that's still pretty funny. Like, who, know, who was the guy? Was it Carter who they kept making fun of because Carter kept falling down? And, like, he, like, the SNL Carter. kept doing skits with, like, him falling down? Yeah. Uh, like, President Carter? Uh, I swear, like, SNL was doing skits on him because he kept falling down. Oh, maybe. I'm Probably. Sure. <laughs> uh, the, the the internet's uh, like don't you mean president carter's fails i'm like no i want to look at president carter fall like i think that stuff's fine there's this i can't oh, i can't remember yeah, it's yeah, yeah. You're trying to ring a bell i think you're right yeah like snl was making skits about he got out the, out of the plane i was like oh huh? yeah like yeah was that wasn't that carter or like president falls out of an airplane oh, I'm like, uh, <laughs> that's funny Someone, yeah, he got out of the airplane. Air, yeah, air yeah. Oh, he's forward. Yeah. And then, like, the what? SNL was all about that stuff. They always talk about how, like, Dude. he falls or whatever. Isn't Biden too old to go in the Air Force One? No, why? Oh, you mean because of, like, the G-Force from it? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's like, crazy. You know, sketch. <laughs> Dude, I, it's hard for me to freaking fly. I don't know how old people do it. No offense. Yeah, like, I've never had a problem with flying. I almost so always much. sleep on a plane. Really? I used to love yeah. flying. And uh, a few years ago, I took a trip to California. And the plane was just like, I'm like, oh, my God. It's like being on a bus without, like, wheels. Like, the plane was just dipping. And I just could not stand that. I go, just dip, come back, dip. It's like, oh. Yeah. Day, like, a constant... So there's this phenomenon in the air where they have like pockets of gas that are, you know, less dense than air. And we flew through one of those at one point when I was in, when I was on a flight. And seriously, we dropped 15 feet before we hit air again that was dense enough to hold the airplane, airplane aloft. No way. Yeah. So you're just flying along and all of a sudden drop 15 feet. And when you hit the air again, it actually like, it's like landing on the ground. The the plane immediately stops falling and goes foot, and then it keeps going forward. And you're just like, oh my god. Oh, oh I figured out the president. It was Gerald Ford. 
was Gerald Ford. Because I remembered that it was yeah. Chevy Chase who was pre- like being the president. I can remember who it was. Yeah. And yeah. So- Gosh dang it, Joe. I had a good segue. Now, <laughs> now you can segue, but I just wanted to make sure because I kept saying it was Carter, but <laughs> no, I didn't want good. to I didn't want these guys to be like, this guy idiot don't even know his presidents. I'm like, bro, <laughs> first off, I wasn't even born. You know? This guy uh, this guy the presidents and his Video game knowledge and yeah, he fell down. Whatever else, everything. Uh, What's your segue? Just segue. Uh, it was a about the so. Gosh dang it. Um. So I yeah. You. The you, you can do this. You can do this. You can do. We we both believe in you. Come on, don't be a wimp. So speaking of the uh, airplane turbulence. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you hear what the uh, Top Gun cast had to go through to train? Oh yeah, the Tom Cruise made sure that they could all fly jets before they could do the movie because he wanted to have actual scenes with them actually in the plane, actually and not to... CGI's. Yeah, yeah, they actually had to go through like a small boot camp for the movie. Like they almost drowned, and they had to like pull their uh, cockpit and eject and everything. That's an experience, man. I can't yeah. imagine. Because was this Christopher Nolan that did this? No, no, it was someone else. I guess he just looks like him. But um, yeah, instead of doing like CGI, they wanted to leave as much CGI out as possible. So they would just, um, they got like some of the, um, what is it? It's, a, it's an F-18. So they got like an older, kind of an older airplane and they just, stacked a bunch of cameras inside of it and so they just film inside of this f-18 um all the you know all the actors like acting and stuff like that so yeah, yeah. get used to some g-forces man right like talk about like method acting right there man <laughs> That's wild, though. Are you sure it's because they could fly or at least be inside of an airplane? Because I doubt these actors all could fly an airplane. No, they had to. They start with a, an Cessna, then they moved on to, like, the first jet. Dude, like they, small, you know how long it yeah. takes to get a real pilot's license, let alone a pilot's license to fly a jet? Are you... Dude, really? this movie's been in production for years. Not yeah, because to... COVID slowed it down. What? That's also wild. Also COVID slowed it down, yeah. But yeah, they've been doing it for years, man. And then COVID on top of that. Just imagine that it like takes years to do all this stuff and they're like, Oh, COVID, you gotta delay your movie. What? Yeah. Like some of the actors are already married with like kids. So. But Tom Cruise still looks the same. Yeah. As he did. <coughs> they're like, why didn't they have that the girl in it though? Why is Tom Cruise in it but not the girl? Like, uh, yeah, she looks totally different. <laughs> Tom Cruise is the only one that looks the same. As a, as a character from the first game, movies? Yeah. Holy crap, they really did fly those airplanes. That's wild. What the heck? Yeah. You fact check us? Yes! Fact checking. I was doing the same thing. That, thank you, Chris. At least I'm not the only asshole. Uh, wow. to, to quickly answer the question, <laughs> yes, Cruz and his co-stars like really did fly planes stuff. for top. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. You're not to be trusted. You're not to be Jeez, trusted. <laughs> I mean, we we live in an era where we can fact check everything that's said instantaneously. Um, uh, the, yeah, the freaky. Not even the producer of the podcast, but the members of the podcast are fa- fact checking the producer, <laughs> so to speak. I don't even know if the light year car is real. He just made that up from the movie. I'm still looking at it. What? Yeah, it looks like light year. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like Buzz. Just like it. It's Buzz. Well, I mean, wheel. like, I had to look up the car, so I had an idea of what it looked like when we started talking about it. No, I get that. But I but going, like, completely redoing all the research. It's wild, though, that they actually Shows freaking flew here. that. I, I'm just blown look away that, that actors were that committed, man. Lying. How do you leave pilots list? Right. I mean, I'm pretty sure they got paid some pretty big dollars for that, though. I mean, to even yeah, be picked as a it's pilot. amazing because of it, though. The movie is like, I don't know. I guess you guys have to see it. But. So is that, so like, so they say they really know how to fly it. Do they know how to, like, take off and land it, too? 
Yep. So they took yep, off. So Tom Cruise literally took off on an aircraft carrier with that thing. Uh, Tom Cruise knows how to fly like a hundred. He's been a pilot for the longest time. I think he's known how to fly since the uh, first since, Top Gun. Since the first one. Uh, That's he's, wild! Oh my he, god! Uh, took games. He took I just a late night oh, I wish game, he like, wasn't such a piece of shit because I'd actually like him. What are you talking <laughs> about? Tom Cruise, is awesome, dude. Tom Cruise is awesome. Awesome. It's like the best movies series. Uh, I told you last That's time. That's the I still one think thing you got to realize is most actors are not the characters they portray. They might be in really good movies, but they're just shitty people. Yeah, dude. Like that's why you get so many divas in Hollywood that are like, I need my own trailer, and it has to be one that is super amazing and looks like a luxury house, and I don't drink tap water. You got to make sure it's Fuji because that's what I need. Don't ever come to my trailer with tap water. Oh, my God, you're fired and never working in the freaking movie companies ever again. I'm going to burn your career. Jeez. Chris knows because he is one. (laughs) I'm just, I'm just like he's an actor though. So. He's an actor for for many years, and I was getting I was getting into network TV up in Canada, and then I got to work with some like American yeah. actors that came through, and you know we're sitting on the we call it the circus where you just hang out between scenes when you're not in one of the scenes, and I got to you know try to talk to some of these guys, and they'd be like. You, I can't talk to you right now. You break me out of character. Or, oh, excuse no. me, who are you? Do you know who I am? You shouldn't even be approaching me. And I'd be like, oh. that's what you're sitting at my it. table. I thought I would have a conversation. So, do you not believe it when they're, everybody's like, Johnny Depp's the nicest guy ever? Like, do you not believe that? Is it just like for show? Or... I think Johnny Depp is a real, really a good guy. I mean, I've know, I know a lot of people that have hung out with him after his Hollywood Vampires shows in the uh, backstage. Oh, wow. And, and he's never been a jerk. Well, none of those guys have been a jerk to anybody. All the members of uh, the Hollywood Vampires are great people. Alice and Chains and Johnny Depp and who else is in? I can't remember the rest of the members, but yeah. Yeah. These guys are super famous, but also super chill. Probably because a lot of them are old now, but, you know. Because they got money. Yeah. I'll be nice to everybody. I'm rich now. Yeah. 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 Well, there's a lot to be said about your media appearance. That's why they have all these, like, Uh, fake relationships. Or even if they are true, they were planned to be put together because their relationship would increase their fame or advertise for a movie that they're making or like there's been a lot they show a lot that that says like if actors start dating during the movie and then they go together as dates for a premiere they'll get a lot more attention to the movie when it comes out Hmm. so like they do all these analytics and a lot of a lot of the things that are happening with actors and actresses are just for the media. Like that's one thing I learned as an actor a long time ago was like, um, you know, when like Britney Spears had her mental breakdown or shaved her head or Bieber pissed in the corner of a bar and stuff like any news, whether it's good or bad is, will keep you in the media, which keeps you in the front of the minds of the people, which, means that the next time your cd comes out it's recognizable versus oh i haven't heard from this guy in a while or out of sight out of mind you forget about them and you don't go looking for his new cd you gotta get back into the newspapers so that your your character is fresh in people's minds so they'll buy your shit so like half the time that, that they're having some kind of you know mental breakdown or going to rehab or or anything really it's most likely for the news for you to buy their shit some more so that kind of like brings up like justin bieber's like syndrome that he's got did you see that oh, no, i know I didn't he's see sick it. yeah i know he's sick so is, yeah so is that you think like that could be part of it or is that just i mean if it's actual sickness probably not yeah i don't know that's why like i that's why i kind of like bieber because he's like honest about like 
he's got like uh limes or lupus or something like i like that like celebrities are like honest with their like ramsey hunt syndrome well he's got that yeah i guess where he's getting through it but i don't know some people are like he's faking it he doesn't want to like tour or whatever but i don't know look pretty real on his no because his lady's got it too from what i understand but yeah people are giving him flack because they're like making fun of him and stuff so but yeah. um yeah I mean, it's I, possible i'm not gonna denounce that it's not because i know that like especially when he went and pissed in the corner at a bar that was that was an attention grab yeah yeah i mean i uh, whether it's fake or not i just like how he like shows off his i mean i watched like his documentary and he's like going to like the doctors and stuff and he's got this whole machine he has to like sit in a machine or whatever filled with air because he's got some disease and i don't know it's kind of nice for people like me that have like illnesses and stuff to to show that you know you could you could still do stuff and you could still you know be a performer or whatever even though you have like illnesses instead of, instead of being like oh you're not perfect you can't i don't know <laughs> from my point of view right like, right whether it's fake or not i don't know it's kind of nice to to show you know a big celebrity that has some of these illnesses and that they're still doing what they do and people aren't like oh you're you've got an illness oh you can't be on stage anymore you can't do this mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that aspect's kind of nice, whether it is fake or not. But probably a lot of it is for attention. But it's nice for people like me that you know want to do stuff in life, <laughs> right? So, yeah. Um. Anyways, other topics or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. where else. Public. well i mean but, like just, yeah, just going off of that like I, I mean i still do think like what justin bieber said is true and everything like whatever the health issue has because oh I, right i don't yeah. think he doesn't want to tour he's been doing it for so long and and i i think he honestly i think he really enjoys performing <clears throat> yeah but he can spend more time with his hot wife you know i mean <laughs> sure except I, dude, he's not making any money when he's doing that his tour his wife's making money now so What's uh what's his wife do? She's got her own like makeup brand now. And then now that it's like making millions, she's getting sued by this college student that made up a a makeup company with the same name. <laughs> wasn't as famous as mine. I swear. Yeah. This I was swear. me first, I swear to God. I started this company. Gosh dang it, Megan. All it was was some flowers and essential oils. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah, that's God. crazy that actors have to be like that. You know, it's like you would think that if you're nicer, you'd get more jobs and stuff. Like, like from what I like, the casting directors that I've like heard, they're like, if you're like mean or like one thing, you're like out. Like, if you're not like the nicest person there, then. That's from what I've heard. They they just really hate it, like casting directors and producers and it, it can be fun. depending on money. It comes down to like what can you bring? Like, is it Ooh. worth passing that, right? Because because the issue you run into, right? Because you look at uh, Chevy Chase, right? He's the reason why you don't see him around, right? He was so big because of National Lampoon and and SNL. Like, why is he not around? And it's because he's he's an asshole. Like nobody liked working with him. And the issue you ran into is that people actually would not work with him in general like they would like like actors wouldn't want to work with him and all that other stuff so that's what you kind of ran into mm. but um you know but right. like uh you look at um who's the guy um uh gosh what is it um christian bill no but i heard some things about him too um um 
Bill why, Cosby. Why, why can't I think of the freaking movie now? I'm gonna be Jeffrey gonna, Epstein. I don't know. I don't wanna. I don't want people to clue me in because the rest are gonna freak out. A uh, Die Hard. It's uh, what's his what's his face? Oh, Will Smith or Will Bruce? Yeah. Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willis. Yeah. Bruce Willis. I heard he's a Will big Bruce. asshole. Like I heard there were some incidents on uh, the Tears of the Sun. Like he like mm. blew up on people bad. or whatever, and he was like people were like not happy about it. And then like he came back the next day and got like the whole crew sushi and stuff because they he felt bad for being such a dick. Now at least he apologized, but I heard he's like he's a he's a he's like not a very nice guy. Um hey, got you guys some sushi. <laughs> yeah, sorry so, that. sorry that I cussed you out and made you cry. Here's some uh here's some sushi. Here's some here's some oh, fish. Got glass in your feet. <laughs> Uh, he walks around with glass. Sorry, oh, that was funny. Uh, but yeah, wow, crazy. I didn't think he was a jerk. Oh, apparently, he's uh, Bruce Willis suffering from aphasia. Yeah, he uh, retired from acting. <clears throat> Who did Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis? What when did he retire? Like a month ago or two. He yeah uh, he has this disease. Speaking of diseases, what yeah, cognitive decline? Yeah, he said he got the uh, vaccine and he hasn't felt right, so he's retiring. <laughs> cognitive abilities, really? Yeah, the the disease is called aphasia. Man, Did... everybody's a producer today, huh? Wait, wait, wait. It's... So aphasia. So when you got aphasia, like I correct you on that. What? I didn't even know. I didn't even knew this happened. Joe's all sad. He's going to go cry now. I, yeah, no. I like his Bruce movies. Willis. When Bruce, I hang out with him. We'll no. never see another Bruce Willis movie. His movies are oh. terrible. Oh, they got CGI coming in. Did you see what they did to Val Kilmer? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> He's got throat cancer and they made him talk. So anybody could do anything these days with technology. We're both speaking and writing, understanding, or listening, or reading. Dang. What? Sorry, guys. Uh, I just didn't hear you. So, so when did, when did he? So, did they know why he just got this from? Like, is aphasia just randomly, or like, like I don't know. I don't know much about aphasia, yeah, so I'd like, have to look that up. Yeah, like, is it like caused by trauma? You know, like. That sucks. Caused by not being able to yell at your castmates. I guess so. Maybe yelling so much. <laughs> Held it in so much. No, I'm just kidding. The diseases aren't funny. Yeah, dude. Like I swear, like he like. But who knows? It's a a yeah. brain damaging disease that makes you lose the ability to understand speech or. Uh, create sentences. Dang, dude. And it can be caused by several different de- things, such as dementia, a stroke, dementia, yeah. concussions, a brain tumor. Jeez, those are serious things. Did he, like, what? hit his head a lot? It could be. It could have been he got hit in the head. Could have been a minor stroke. Could so, have been uh, Lyme disease also breaks down the brain, can cause that. So oh, the, from the movie? So they say that he could have got it from his 2002 set injury on Tears of the Sun. That might be why he was yelling at everybody. <laughs> oh, Is no that way. apparently, yeah, apparently he sued the studio in 2004 because he claimed he suffered substantial right. mental and physical injuries. Claim that a small Ooh. piece of special effects explosive hit him in the head. Gosh dang it, guys, you be careful. Wow, you're so mean. Yeah. What? Now it's like I'm on his side now. Gosh dang right. you guys, watch where you're shooting that stuff. You're so mean. You, we should get another actor. You hit me in the head. And concussions can completely change your personality depending on the area of the head that it hits. Right, do you see football players, man? Like, yeah, they, I mean, the micro concussions cause them to be more aggressive. Yeah, but I mean, like, complete personality changes. Yeah, it looks yeah, like. 
you see all the football players though they're just like they have like a lot of them have like slurs and stuff like at at the very lightest they have some oh yeah no that it's a your brain can only take so many concussions even micro concussions before it does stay a buddy of mine who uh used to get into a lot of fights in in high school had i guess he got to his limit just under one or whatever and for the last you know 20 years or whatever he hadn't been in any major fights and he never had any concussions he tried to stand up for a a black girl who had some rednecks beating up on her and uh they caught him outside and knocked him in the back of the head with a bottle with a sucker punched him and now he's got a permanent stutter because of that last final concussion it's wild find those guys man yeah. well i mean like you look at so i'm a big bears fan right if you guys like oh here we go jim mcmahon <laughs> dude like yeah they bears. did a documentary on jim mcmahon on like like his brain injuries and what he's done he said chiropractors helped him out a ton because like um when he finally went to a chiropractor and they like helped like align his spine again like um he said all of a sudden this pressure that he's felt forever like was just released, almost like this liquid. So he goes and sees his chiropractor like constantly, and then he does puzzles now to help him out. But the damage is already there. Like he's a little bit slower already because that guy suffered bad, especially well, especially the 1986 season, which would have led to a back-to-back Super Bowl win. But the gosh dang freaking Packers did a, uh, an yeah. illegal hit well after the play was done, taking him and well, slamming him on his body right on top of his head. By the way, you can go look it up, right? That's right, yeah, Packers. That's yeah. The, uh, so there's there's new uh, new things to fix that. You, they're doing this uh, neuro mapping and feedback and retraining, and I've started doing this. And two, I apparently had two areas oh, yeah. of my brain shut down from concussions, and so that's why I was dwelling and suffering from depression and stuff like that. And I've been doing this. They put like a neuro, a neuron cap on my head, and they train the brain to send the electrical signals to the proper areas of the brain, and have reactivated those two areas of the brain that had been refusing uh, electricity when I first went in. Jeez, crazy, Mr. Joe Rogan over here. Yeah, so like, and I, everybody around me has noticed a, a difference in how I deal with problematic situations because now I don't have to dwell on shit and I can move on and I haven't had any real like depressive issues in a while. Interesting. It's so crazy how wow. brain injuries can affect people. Like remember the guy who got that big old spike yeah, blown freaking... through his head and then his right. friends, his personality changed from it? Yep. Well, Oh, really? I thought he was fine. He was just walking around like normal. No, like he, well, like he walked around normal, yeah. but his personality changed. He, yeah, yeah, he completely changed his personality. It was part of the like first lobotomy evidences that they used. Oh, is their personality changed? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. He became like more irritant, like vulgar, like... Like all kinds of weird stuff. It's almost like like your normal it's like Joe. filter. Yeah, you know it. Your normal filter <laughs> is yeah. like not there that's... at all. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. That's crazy, man. It's like freaking like I was thrown into football, like contact. They're like, come on, man. Don't be such a wimp. Get in there and ram them with your head. It's like, are you sure this is not? Like when you're a kid, they're like telling you to hit other kids in the head and like, what the heck? I don't know. It's like, yeah, why are, why yeah. are kids... Phineas, Phineas Gage. Gage. Huh? Was Phineas that? Gage. That's the oh, man. Oh, that was the guy's name, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they encourage you, like, hitting other people at such a young age. Like, yeah, I, I guess, like, the brain doctors, they're like, so my son wants to play uh, football. Do you recommend that? And he's like, nope. Not whatsoever. No. So now there's don't play football. If my son wants to play football, he's not going to play until he's in high school. Really? Yeah. Like, if he really wants to because of, like, just, like, the brain injuries I've seen him. uh, Like, it just, for me, the injuries. He will have to be quarterback. 
Yeah, and but even Tom then, Brady. even then, especially with all the especially with all the penalties to protect him now, like he would have to be a quarterback because like. But even then, again, you look at uh, Andrew Luck, you look at um, Peyton Manning, right? Sustained huge neck injuries and stuff like that too. You know, it's it's kind of wild, right? Just like the life of someone who plays the sport. How long do they can they actually play the sport for? Oh yeah, it's super dangerous on their on their bodies, you know. Yeah. Right. Like God, I was in middle they, football. I was in middle they school. They burn out all yeah, their muscles by the time they get to old age, so their life expectancy or their ability to be self sufficient at old age is much reduced. They get you know back problems and knee problems and hip problems and inability to walk faster than most people because they've been pushing their bodies too hard for too long. I was in Taekwondo. I was in uh, football. Every sport possible. I'd like think I broke a bone every time after practice. Every time. It's like, dude, I can't. I'm just going. I'm hill marrying it every time, man. I'm not yeah. doing this because I just outrun the kids. I'm like, oh, just do like a little in route and get the first down. I'm like, screw that. I'm going all the way to the end. All the way. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Either hit me down there or you're not hitting me at all. And then <laughs> they got rid of me. And I was like, thank God. I don't have to get tackled and yeah. demolished. I was like 90 pounds. And these kids are running at me at 200 pounds. And like, oh, you're fast, but we'll just throw you on the ground on the line. Right, right. Yeah, Gosh, that's... Yeah. If my son wants to play football, I'll have him play, like, if he's like, Dad, this is what I want, I'm like, bro, you're playing flag football. Because at least he can get flag the system fun. down. He can get, like, the system down, right, and, and understand mm-hmm. it. He, granted, he doesn't get the full contact, but he can get the system down. He can get, um, you know, like, how things are played and, and get at least behind the mentality of football. And then he'll be like, Dad, I'm going to go into high school. I'm like, all right, let your out-of-shape, fat-ass dad put some, some – um, <laughs> what do you call it? Some some uh, pads on, and let me just stand still and let Dad run at you full full blast. Mm-hmm. After one, <gasps> uh, Dad's all you got. Just kidding. Yeah. Smash, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> smash. But uh, no, he like just gets like the Bears are like drafts him. He's like, Dad, but I gotta play. Oh, I don't want you. the Bears, Dad. They're calling me. Yeah, it's it's dangerous, man. And yeah, and you got to go all out pretty much. It's like uh the Avs, like the Avs just won the the cup, right? And I was like watching all the players and stuff, and apparently one player was like 19 or something like that. One was 19, the other one was like 21 or something. Like jeez, they're already in the NHL at 19 and 21. That's crazy. Yeah, and then uh, one guy on the Lightning, they're like, yeah, he's a he's an old veteran, 33. It's like, oh, my God. Right, yeah, because usually they don't last much longer than that. What an old veteran out there at 33. It's like, what? Look at that old guy go. I'm like, he doesn't really look that old. Right. He's I am uh, 10 years older than that dude, and <laughs> yeah, I'm like, still young. I guess a bit, what? Yeah. That's crazy, though, 19. But I guess your body can really handle that at that age. Still in like uh, and he, he would have been he would have been training since before high school to be in there at 19, like like eight or something. Yeah. It's all about practice and getting putting in the time. Yeah. Before you get professional. So you can just get drafted in high school, I guess, then. In hockey. Um, Maybe, probably. probably. I mean, there's nothing wrong with I think, it. I like, think the kid, uh, the kid from the Northwest Territories that joined the Canadian hockey team, Jordan Tutu, he was like 19 when he was pulled in in high school. Well, so you just play at high school and then you just get scouted, I guess. Because like football, you have to go to college essentially. I mean, I guess you can still get scouted, but yeah, you, you got to make a big mark in the high school level to be able to get scattered at that point though yeah because you're still dealing with guys that, cause the issue you run into right unless you can and granted you know the way you can take care of your body and get big like you can you can get a lot of testosterone but 
and, and hockey's kind of, you know, compared to what it was back in the heyday in the 90s and early 2000s, which is, you know, a lot more physical. It's still physical. But you're dealing with, like, you know, 20 – an age difference at that time is is wild. Like, a 20 to 24-year-old, like, the different mass of muscle they can produce is vastly different. So, if you're going to get right. pulled directly from uh, high school, you got to be – super super good at it like not only are you should be able to capable like like uh, talent wise but then physical wise like you need to make sure you like you'd have to eat extremely well have to really really take care of yourself to be able to get physically up to the level that those older guys can get yeah i was like 98 pounds in high school oh dude i know it's like I 102 at most if i ate like a chipotle burrito or something right <laughs> Like Hayden, if he ever carried the bag, he'd have to hold it up high to his chest because if he held it off to the side, he'd like tip over. That <laughs> I was that small. Did they? Joe knows they would chase me around in theater. Yeah, it was so funny. Hayden hates right. hugs. It's like our favorite thing to like. Was our, our I wasn't that do. small though, but I was like, I don't know, I was like five eight or something. But yeah, it was yeah. so funny watching him it's run away from people trying to give him a give him a hug. And Joe was still his six three self. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, I was six three. And then uh, I'm like, body, you got to do something, man. You got to do something. I'm getting picked on. And then like four years later, okay, we'll have puberty and help you out here. <laughs> okay, well, don't really need it as much now, but hey, thanks. Don't need it now, guys. Thanks, body. Thanks for being so behind. I thanks for being so far freaking behind. <laughs> I was Goku, but I was just four years later. It just took me four years to do the, uh, whatever phase, um, Super Saiyan phase. You know, it takes them like a whole episode to change the Super Saiyan. Yeah, <laughs> right. Crazy. Uh, a whole episode of build up of power. Ah, and then the enemies just talk about him. What is he doing now? I've never seen this phase before. Dude, don't you want to like attack him right now? <laughs> like he's got like vulnerable. Ah, last episode, Goku was building into a new, higher phase. But yeah, that was me. High school and college, I was just building into a new phase. And then now, finally, I'm back. And I returned to high school, and they kicked me out. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that was pretty funny. Good times. Anyway. <laughs> Mini Mini Hayden was funny. Like Pocket Hayden was great. Pocket? I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, you could fit in my pocket at the time. Unless you're like a woman. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'll I'll fit in your pocket any day, babe. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden, he's pocket size. The girls come up. Oh, he's pocket size. Yeah, actually, yeah, I am. <laughs> well, what do you ladies need over here? <laughs> uh. Yeah, ladies were hard back in the day, man. You guys don't even know. Going through high school and you're not even taller than the girls. That's tough. <laughs> oh, sorry, you stepped on me. Oh, you stepped on me. Stepped on me. Oh, excuse me. Did you want to dance? <laughs> no. I didn't have that nasally voice, but... Joe knows, right? I do. I do. Um, yeah, that one guy would, like, hide in the rafters. That was so annoying. Like, pop out, whatever his name was, Lynn. Yeah! Okay. Hey, he wasn't that tall either. He was just, like, a few inches taller than me. Right? He's like, hey. I was like, oh, my God. Came out of the dark. That guy was scary, dude. He'd come out of, the, like, the abyss almost. <laughs> like, hey, he wants a hug. Oh, my God. <laughs> that guy took it to another level, dude. <laughs> yeah, he did. Joe just like, uh, Joe would just be playful, and this guy would just find all the hiding spots. It was and so he... funny. Lynn was so determined. Dude, freaking theater ended. I know. I want to hug, dude. The class is over. I gotta get the class. <laughs> I gotta get a class. Uh, I want that hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I want that hug. Oh. All right, you can hug me, but I just got to get to class. Dude, it was so hard to get to class. They're like, all right, everybody's got 15 minutes. I got to go to the annex on the other side. 
Like, do you remember that, Joe? I do. I that I do. Like, <laughs> dude, we had like, so our high school was a uh, a middle school before it was a high school, or it was a middle school and a high school, and then they just like combined, and there was just so many people there, and like, I guess the baseball would like recruit kids from other schools to play baseball. And it's like, dude, we have way too many people here. <laughs> Dude, it was like freaking like the New York subway or something. Like trying to get to class, you like you couldn't stop and talk. You just have to go like directly to class. It's like shoulder to shoulder next to someone. All right, just motion. Dude, that was wild trying to get to and from. Yeah, and then they put these little barriers up, and people just knock it down. I can't get anywhere. And then the freaking popular kids would make a giant circle. And I was like, oh, screw this. And I went in the middle and they started playing like pinball with me. Like, no. I got to get to class. <laughs> I got to get there. Yeah. Don't forget class. <clears throat> yeah, I got to get to class. So I just had like, I just loaded up my backpack with books and just swung it at them. Oh, they're like laughing, pushing me around. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Guys, stop. Do you remember that girl used to have, like ride in the electric wheelchair? She'd run people over. I would specifically follow her. <laughs> I would follow her because like she oh didn't give God, no craps, dude. dude. She, I would follow her because she <laughs> would plow through people. Just the image of that, dude. <laughs> so you would just hear, dude, oh, with his big ass head just right behind her. Hey, <laughs> uh, dude, you just hear this that the whirring noise that the her electric scooter, like her, her wheelchair made. So people would like be like, oh, sh she's yeah. coming, you know. And then they would like get ready to, they would like look she's out for her. Coming. And I'm like right behind her the whole time. She was hella smart. So I heard led of her like people would be like, dude, she rolled my ankle so bad. Yeah, dude, she did. <laughs> And so, yeah, like, right. I timed it. Like, she had, like, one class going from, was that north side where they built up that extra pot all the way down to, like, the, like, yo, further south. Wow. Yeah, dude. So I just follow her, bro. I'd be like, yo, like, the timing for her was perfect. So I would just literally just walk walk right behind her. And, yo, like, thanks for the ride. See you next time. Yeah, see, see you next later. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Like, just jump off of it. Just, like, jump on. I was small enough. I could just jump on. You could probably could. All right, to the uh, so South Annex. <laughs> but it was See you guys. it was great, man. Like, Jeez, Joe's just behind her. Yeah, so she liked me enough that she like she's like, do you just keep following me? I was like, yeah, man. Like you clear right things out. This I was like, I think it's me. awesome. She goes, hell yeah. You know, she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. You can do that. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. sweet. She like tells her friends, that guy's a creep. <laughs> I didn't care. I got to class on time. My teacher would yell at me all the time, like, because I would end up being late to class. But, like, trying to get from oh, the yeah. new pod that they built, right, all the way down to, like, the bottom middle of school was impossible within that walking time period. So I had to time it with her that she was the only way I could get there fast enough. Yeah. And the teachers were, like, always mad. All the time. That's funny. But, yeah, what you going to do? Oh, uh, school experiences. Right. Nothing like it, man, I'll tell you. For sure. How are we doing on time? I uh, think we're on it. Be good for another topic or two? or We can do a topic, yeah, because I probably got to stop here in about 10 minutes to pick up or wake up my son. All right, so I got Barbie and Ken movie and also Halo Infinite co-op. Halo Infinite Co-op, baby. I'm ready. Of course, Margot Robbie is awesome. But I'd rather talk about Halo. Halo. Okay. Well, uh, Halo uh, Infinite is finally adding co-op. The beta just started, and now uh, I think they're going to roll out in August for uh, co-op. So how do you get the co-op beta? I have no idea. I mean, I guess I should have done more research. Like, I'd like to be a part of it. So, did they? Did it just drop today? Uh, no. I read this over the weekend, so I'm sure they dropped it before that. I thought it was later than that. I thought it wasn't later till this month. So I was like, really? Um, but yeah, but so in August they're gonna come out with it, and I don't know if it's just two play, and then the split screen is gonna come out way later. So this is just online co-op. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot of people want split screen anymore. I just want it. 
I wanted a co-op or whatever, you know, play with my friends. The one guy on Reddit. Damn, my son can't play. Go on. I took a whole week off of work for that. Hell sign up to that fan, so we need to go online and sign up for the but, So apparently they got a sign up on the uh, Halo Insider okay. to do it? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, but apparently the co-op, you can't be more than a thousand feet from each other or you'll respawn. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's te- technically open world, but... I guess they said it's a it's a technical issue where if you if two people that are in the same party wander way too far apart, then uh, there's some issue with the system or what I don't know with the uh, graphics. I don't know, but then uh, yeah, so they couldn't do it more than a thousand feet, so you kind of have to like stay close to your uh, partner, hmm. which is one downfall. But it's like. Seriously, now they have like technical issues that because in Destiny, couldn't you kind of do that? You could kind of like wander apart, right? Yeah, you could totally wander apart the whole way. <laughs> but Destiny did it over here on a PS3 or 4 or whatever. PS4, yeah. And uh, they're like, no, you can't do it in Halo. Sorry, guys, we're not Bungie, okay? We're 343, we're the knockoff Bungie. God, come on, we can't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're like, come on. No, well, like, so the biggest thing is they're trying to figure out how to do the quality of, like, the animation and everything. Uh, I'm not shocked. I get it. But they want the, f- like, free from free roam kind of open world experience, you know? Yep. I'm ready for it. I don't know. Yeah, I was ready for it and whenever they came out. November. Yeah. Just been waiting for the co-op. Yeah. There you go. Now you and Chris can finally play. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah. When are you streaming next, Joe? Uh, probably tomorrow night now. Uh, oh, really? Wow. Yeah, now that there's been... co-op. Now that I got something to play. <laughs> I wish. I wish this was available, but no, probably tomorrow night. Um, unknown what I'll play. Maybe some more Sniper Elite. I was just busy the last couple of weeks with stuff, so trying to do some, you know, some other things and get ready. So uh, I'm down to be playing some games tomorrow night. It should be fun. All right, cool. Wait. Where can they uh, go to find that at? Always. Always? Where Where can they find you? Always. At twitch.tv oh. forward slash Average Joe Show, A V G J U E S H O W. Sweet, sweet. And uh, what about you, Chris? What are you going to be doing? Uh, well, our improv classes have been postponed again. They were the school that we were working out of got worried about uh, the increasing number of COVID cases in Colorado. And so they shut it down to only students again. So, uh, so you can always find our classes and find out when we start them up again at uh, DenverMonkeyButlerImprov.com or just MonkeyButlerImprov.com, and uh, we'll have the classes up there when we start them up again. So Zoom class, maybe? Or... Uh, we haven't we haven't decided to go back to the Zooms yet because we're not expecting the school to keep us out for too long. Zoom, Zoom. Zoom, Zoom. Plus, Zoom didn't really work out very well for improv. And anyway, it's so tough. tough. Yeah, it's. So I mean, you 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 try to stay away from the talking heads thing when you're doing improv. That when you're on Zoom, you're, all you are are talking heads. So. Yeah. Yeah, you don't look like an alligator right now. I mean, you kind of sound like one, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Good action. Show mom. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Improv with Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Difficult. But uh yeah, go check them out, guys. Uh go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash pizza subs pod. Also uh pizza subs on Instagram and YouTube. 
can check out some clips there. Hell yeah. Uh, anything else, guys? I think I'm out. All set. All right. We just lost Chris. No, I'm sick. No, I said I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm out. All right, All right guys. Have a good one. I'm, I'm yeah, out yeah, of yeah. topic. Listening. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.